Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I will quickly talk about the Washington football team working out running back Donta Foreman and I'll also talk about the improvement of offensive tackle Sam Cosme and how he's been much better than most people think and also I'll show you guys some film from the Chargers and Giants game on Sam Cosme. He's been one of the best run blocking tackles so far this season in the NFL. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. Also hit that like button and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Let's get right into it. Okay, so before we get into Sam Cosme, let's get into the Washington football team working out Donta Foreman. So I'll read this right here from Ben Standing. Washington is working out running back Donta Foreman today. Source confirms Foreman has played 17 games since 2017, including six with the Titans last season. So I really think this is just another practice squad body. You know, Peyton Barber was on their practice squad. He got poached by the Raiders and he actually had a significant role in the Raiders game against the Steelers. Didn't do much, but still had a lot of carries in that game. I think this is just Washington having some insurance, you know, in case Gibson or even someone like McKissick or Patterson get injured. You're probably going to want to keep a third back active on Sunday. So they're going to, you know, get someone in on the practice squad so that they can know the playbook so that if they do need to get on the, you know, the field on active on Sundays, they can do that. You look at Dante Foreman, you know, um, hasn't done much in his career yet. Um, you know, um, went to Texas and, you know, 2017 played 10 games, had 78 rushes for 327 yards, 4.2 yards per carry, two touchdowns. So, you know, nothing special, but not bad at all. Um, and, you know, 2020 had played in six games, 22 carries for 95 yards. Um, he's also a little bit of a receiving threat um, in 2017, eight catches for 83 yards. And then, you know, 2018, he had two catches for 28 yards. So, you know, four career touchdowns. And, you know, he's just a body to have in case someone does go down. They can bring him in to be that third back on, you know, Sundays. But hopefully that isn't the case. But I think they will likely sign this guy to the, you know, practice squad. And if Patterson goes down, McKissick goes down, they'll call him up to the active roster. But I don't think it's anything more than that, I am fine with our running back room right now. Gibson's looking good, so is McKissick, and you know Patterson looked good in that first game. I'm hoping he starts to get a little bit more carries in the next few days. So let's get into Sam Cosme right now. So I talked about this in my live stream. I'm super excited to announce that I have partnered with WinView. WinView is the nation's leading sports predictor, allowing you to compete in pregame or live contests against other people. You can answer eight questions about each game before it begins or play in quarter long contests while you're watching the game to take your viewing experience to the next level, you can play for free or real money with your you're gonna play with your friends and family and make a league and play against your fantasy league opponents while watching on Sundays. And you know there's a good deal for you new users, first time deposit bonuses of up to $200 Play your first $20 risk free. Make sure you guys, you know, use my link right down below and let's get into Sam Cosme. So far this season, I think Sam Cosme has been much better than people have given him credit for. You know, week one, it was a really, really tough matchup against, you know, Joey Bosa, one of the best pass rushers in the NFL. He was not great at all in pass blocking, but was really, really good in run blocking. Run blocking. So far, the whole offensive line has done a really good job run blocking, and I think our, you know, offense has been able to run the ball really well, whether that be Antonio Gibson or even, you know, Jarrett Patterson, the first couple carries he had, you know, two carries for nine yards. They've done a good job running the ball. I think Gibson's over five yards per carry on the season. I honestly think they need to run the ball a little bit more because this offense has been doing a really, really good job at run blocking. You look at this week two, I think Sam Cosme did a much better job overall in his performance in terms of pass blocking. 
and run blocking, yes, he did have a couple crucial penalties. He had that unnecessary roughness, which is a tough call. You know, it's tough for him to avoid that, but he did lower his helmet. That's a tough call, and I do believe he also had a holding penalty, and, you know, technically, he did allow the sack, but I think that was more on Heineke because that play was design designed to get it out quick, and Heineke held the ball for three or four seconds and then ran around, so, you know, Heineke obviously had a great game, but I think that sack was more on him than Sam Cosme, and he had a, again, you have to take everything with PFF with a grain of salt, but he had a good game according to them, 77.1 PFF grade, and if you watch the film, which I'll show you guys in a second, he was pretty good overall, but 77.1 is really a really good grade, second best offensive rookie grade overall in week two, and I think week one, he had like a 15 uh, PFF grade in terms of pass blocking, but like an 85 run blocking, which was best out of tackles, which is insane. And I just said, if he can get even to below average at pass blocking with the level he's at, at run blocking, it's really going to help us out. Um, let's see. Let me look at some more stats. So Sam Cosme has a 90.2 run blocking grade, and that's the third highest among tackles, which that is very, very impressive. Again, Take it with a grain of salt because it is PFF, but still, if you watch them, the film, it's been very, very impressive from Sam Cosme so far. And you guys can look, I mean, it doesn't have anything to do with Sam Cosme, but some of the other grades, you know, Jonathan Allen has looked really good, um, especially in pass rushing. And, you know, it's hard to see, you know, Deron Payne's effect in the run game when you're just watching on the TV copy, but he's been solid in the run game as well. If Sam Cosme can, you know, clean up some of those penalties and his pass blocking, you know, just get it to now that he's, you know, improving at that, maybe he can get to an average level at pass blocking. And by the end of the season, I think he'll be one of the best rookie tackles in this class. And maybe he's there right now, but he's still, in my opinion, has to clean up some of those things before you put him in that category. But week one, week two, you know, it's again, it's hard watching from the TV copy, especially in terms of how good these linemen are, both offensive and defense in the run game. It's easier in pass protection because you can see them get beat or you can see them get sacked, but he's been great in the run game. Week one was terrible in the pass game, but week two, much, much better in pass protection. You guys can see a couple clips right here from the Chargers game and from the Giants game of Sam Cosme in the run in the run game. So I'll show you guys a couple clips right here. I think one of them might be Sheriff, but besides that, um, you see just Cosme doing a great job uh, in the run game, uh, which is great to you know see right now. Or really, our whole offensive line is doing a good job in the run game, which is helping out Antonio Gibson a lot. You see right here, uh, Sam Cosby just does an absolutely great job right there on the play that, um, you know, Antonio Gibson fumbles. Obviously, he's right here. You see him just absolutely, him and Wes Schweitzer, but then just him bulldozing that guy all the way back right here. Just does a great, great job right there. Really unfortunate that Gibson, you know, fumbled that ball um, because, you know, the offensive line, did a great, great job there, and he might have cut back a little bit too early there. Um, that's what he's been doing, but I thought Gibson did a lot better in week two of not cutting outside, um, you know, early. So that was a great play by Cosme. You guys can see some more plays as well. You can see him, obviously, the right tackle right there. Just doing a good job right there, helping Gibson out in the run game, and I'm excited to see what Sam Cosby can do, you know, continue to do. Second round pick, um, you know, he, if he can be good for us, that's really going to help out our offense, and I think having someone like Taylor Heineke who can extend those plays is really going to help out Sam Cosby, um, you know, especially early on, and you know, if he can be good, that's going to help out our offensive line because, you know, I think Chase really obviously an above average center in this league. Sheriff is one of the best guards in the NFL, and you got two average to above average players on that left side. So in, you know, Leno and Flowers. So if you can add, you know, uh, like Sam Cosme to be average this year, and then moving forward, he can be an above average or better player. That's really, really going to help out 
our offensive line because, you know, having a good offensive line is very, very important because even if you have a franchise quarterback, if you don't have a good offensive line in front of them, that that quarterback is going to, you know, have a tough time staying healthy unless he's someone like Lamar Jackson who can just escape him super easily and just doesn't really get hurt after those big hits, but super encouraged about Sam Cosme has got, you know, he has to, you know, improve on those, you know, in pass blocking and also limit those penalties because penalties are absolutely huge. They are drive killers when you have them early on. It goes from, you know, maybe a first down play to a first and 20. And then also, you know, there was one where he got us out of field goal range earlier on, I think in the Giants game. So he has to clean those things up. But I'm feeling good about Sam Cosby. And like I said earlier, Dante Foreman, I think that's just a practice squad guy. And I like the move. I think it's good to have a running back on the practice squad. I do believe they have Jonathan Williams on the practice squad. So that's another guy that I think would probably be above Jonathan Williams. But maybe they replace Jonathan Williams with Dante Foreman. Again, guys, make sure you guys check out WinView. Use the link that is on the screen or in the comments and in the description. It'll really help me out a ton. At least enter in some free contests. Check out the app and see how you like it. And let me know down below in the comments. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Peace, guys.